John. Yeah. <laughs> Happy fall tidings. To say this board has been anticipated is the understatement of the world. We got this one, which is that board is a prototype to give Armstrong feedback back in early August. So we have tens of hours riding that one. We've done lessons with it. We've been able to see how it works. Today's video is about the new Armstrong WKT, wake, kite, tow board. It is right here in this box. We're gonna unbox this one. This one right here is the 109. This board comes in a couple different sizes, Johnny. 109, which is about three foot seven. And then it comes in a 122, which is about four feet. And then the 136 right here. And that one is for our bigger riders. Johnny, what do you say? Let's unbox it. Let's get into it. You know, it was really nice to Armstrong to set us, send us that one in August to give our feedback. Uh, it's nice to be heard, Johnny. And I would say some of the things that we found to be true in our initial riding really held up to be true as we had uh, a bunch of different riders ride it and do lessons. We weren't allowed to take any pictures of it because it was pre-release and so we didn't. We followed the rules. We're good rule followers in some cases. This is a good board. It's a, it's a very good board for behind the boat because it's uh, what I would call user friendly, especially the longer length. You know, sometimes beginners or even intermediate foilers have a little trouble starting out behind the boat. But with this board, that trouble seemed to go away. So with this board, the WS40, which is wing surfboard, this is actually made to, to either wing on, so you sink it down, it's a sinker board, and then you stand on it, or you paddle into waves on it if you're a strong paddler. We typically are on the WS45, one size up, if it's cold weather, I'm on the 410 because I have a wetsuit on. I'm not as good of a paddler as Johnny. But most of the time we're on that WS45. If you see Sky out there in the water, he's usually on the WS40. But what they did is they decided to make a dedicated board, kind of going back to when they had the 311 SKT, which was a surf kite tow board. This board is really going specific for the wake foil market the kiters and the toe-in. The thing about it, it, they took a lot of volume out of it so that it sinks much more easily. So a lot of the guys that we have out here that, that prefer a tray board, kind of like the Slingshot uh, Dwarfcraft, Dwarfcraft Micro, you know, they like that board because they're able to sink it. It doesn't give them the cork on the way up. The problem is, you know, with, with, with a non-carbon board is you get more flat. And the stiffness is what makes the magic happen when you're transferring power from your body down into the, down into the foil. Yeah, there's a, a little bit of discussion out there in terms of pumping whether you want a little bit of flex or whether you don't, so far until proven otherwise, and this is just based on hours and hours and hours of us riding, we prefer stiff. We think it transfers power better. And that's riding in the lake, in the ocean, surfing, as well as wing foiling. So you can see that Armstrong, they've evolved their packing. Now he's all carbon. Uh, they've learned a lot. They're shipping boards all over the world. All cardboard. All cardboard, what did I say? Carbon. All carbon? The board is carbon, but but not the wrapper. No. The wrapper is purely uh, cardboard. Sorry for that misstatement. This absolutely looks like it's been taped by Tim and John, actually. Well, Tim, what they say is uh, one man's trash is another man's tray. Well, this this here will become our treasure. Maybe this was the one down at the gorge that they were using. I don't know. It might be. But let's get into it. So as we come into the inside, oh, yeah. This wow. is it, Johnny. Check this out. They gave us our warranty card right here so we wouldn't lose it. What you're gonna notice from this board, I mean, this look. Is, that looks brand new, Tim. Yeah, I maybe this wasn't out of somebody's garage. No. Maybe, it, maybe it was now. It's a beautiful board. It is a beautiful board. The reason it took so long is Army, and keep in mind, we're not paid to say this stuff. We just ride the gear that we like the best. We do sell it, but we ride the stuff that we like. We ride a bunch of different things and we try to get down to the, the, the gear that we like the most. And the reason why this was delayed a little bit is he spent a huge amount of time in the lab trying to figure this thing out and to get it just right. If you'll notice, when you compare it to this board, it is much, much thinner. And we dropped down in our leader count. And so, you know, you're looking at this 109 being 8.2 liters, 16.5 wide. Stringer wow. system, yeah, 8.2 liters pure sinker town. But you have the carbon uh, mass tracks, as with all the Armstrong boards there, with a lot of adjustments. Here you have like the, the easy reader, so you can 
keep an eye on in terms of where the mast is so you can remember and write down your configurations for the different front coils that you might use. But you'll notice a little bit of a scoop nose. So if you hit the water, it's gonna bounce back up because that scoop nose is there. Nice and small, has a leash. I don't think we'll ever use that behind the boat. Maybe the kiters. I don't think if I'm towing, I'm not using it, but it's there and it's nice to have it there. You'll see here that also foot strap inserts throughout the board and this, you know, standard foot strap configuration here. Johnny, is there anything else to say about this board before we get in the water and ride it? Yeah, this board is super light. You know, it feels kind of stiff. I think it'll work. <laughs> is, it, is it flexing? I'm not seeing a flex. Did we see if we can break it? Nah, we won't do that. Oh, this is great, but the, the lightweight of this board, I think, will make things like catching air and landing air easier. Yeah, and so in this review that we're gonna do today, we're gonna go ride it a bunch. You'll see John on it, you'll see myself on it. Most likely we'll go with the standard 1550 V2 setup, 50 fuse and a V200. We'll probably throw a 925 on too, just for fun. If you look at this compared to the big board, it's quite a big size difference. This one just has a lot more space. In this, you know, when you look at like which one of these WKTs is gonna be right for you, for any of the intermediate to advanced foilers, you're gonna want this small one most likely. And that's assuming that you're somebody who's somewhere between five feet and about six two. As you get to six two, six three, those big flippers that you have, those feet, you probably wanna go a little bit bigger that's when the next step up, the 122, is gonna be great. And then for the big guys who are, you know, 200 plus, who want a little more room to groove, this bigger board is gonna be a good one for them. This is the board that we've had since August. We've done a bunch of lessons on it. Universally easy to get up on. I think we're gonna see the same thing here. Stay tuned, we're gonna hit the water. Johnny, you ready to hit the water? Let's go. Any last words before we do that? No. Okay, let's do it, let's get in there. Typical of Armstrong, it comes with a board bag, which is a nice board bag split here. So you can put put the board bag on when your foil's there. Nice quality Velcro there. A little different look than, than the other boards, new boards. These handles are awesome. And then there's a label here to tell you it's, this is the 109. Inside the packaging comes the standard Armstrong torque screw. You can never have too many of these laying around. And then this board actually uses a slightly different uh, screw connection. So this is for the foot straps. So you get your foot strap screws, titanium, along with an extra uh, leash cord, you know, if you end up needing it. I mean, Armstrong always seems to think about pretty much everything when they ship their products out, which, you know, I, I always appreciate, as does Johnny. Johnny, you ready? Johnny, how about these testing conditions? Perfect. Oh my god. You couldn't ask for a better test bed. Johnny, how was it? This was awesome. What's crazy is a board this light with such low leader count, it pumps like a dream and there's no swing weight. So everything that's happening with the foil, you can feel super precise. This is a winner. Very stiff too. So for such a thin board with the carbon stringers, it's stiff. So you can just pump this thing for miles. 8.7, 8.2 liters. This thing will sink really easily. So a lot of the the riders, like former wake surfers, I say former because once you foil, you don't go back. But if you want to do a deep water start, you can go ahead and sink it beneath you, no problem. And this becomes a good tactic to have in rough water or when you're doing toe in. It's nice to be able to start, not just start with heel side with the board up, but also to be able to go from a deep water start. This board is so well balanced in the water that when I do my water start, I actually have to tilt the board up like that so that it comes up and doesn't keep going straight. Because right now I am putting zero pressure on this board to keep it beneath me.
pumping so effortlessly that I just <laughs> stopped pumping on the no looky nooky because this thing it just goes it's like the pump pattern because it's so small and it's so stiff and I know there's other boards that are this length and I love those boards too but this one has special sauce I think it is those dual stringers let's go do a pump out Johnny Johnny, damn, I gotta tell you, I just had a whole heap of fun. <laughs> <laughs> this board reminds me of something my mother used to say to me when I was young. Is that right? Yeah. She'd say, Johnny, you're special. <laughs> Tim, this board is special. This board, I agree. Just, was it your mom or your grandma? Both. Just like mom <laughs> and grandma used to say when you're special, this board is special. Again, we continue to believe Stiffness makes a difference. Having dual carbon stringers going down this, all carbon layout, it took Army so long to figure out, he actually ended up doing a great job with. I mean, this board, when you look at the, I like the decking, I like the slight concave that is there for the footbed. I don't have to think at all about where my feet are. Great mobility as I move up and back. I think this is an improvement on the decking that we had on the WS40, where it kind of came up and left us a little extra space. It wasn't bad, but I think this is better. I prefer it. Pump's real nice because it's nice and small. You know, 3.7 is a great size, I think, for behind the boat. You know, just like with the, some of the other manufacturers, I think Armstrong hit the right, right length here, but just more stiffness. Tim, let me tell you this though too. It's, it's so balanced in the water. I would imagine with straps on and you got your kite rig up there, the get up or deeper water start is gonna be real buttery because yeah. this just balances right there. I totally agree. I think if we're out towing, like we will be North Shore this winter coming up, put foot straps on here, you're absolutely right. It's gonna be balanced on the water and your, the kiters, as they're getting their kite into position, I can stand on top of this in the water for as long as I possibly want. You know, I think the only thing for kiters, because it's so well balanced, it travels horizontally underwater so for the kiters, they're gonna throw that, when they throw that kite down, they're just gonna wanna angle the board a little bit like that to get coming up out of the water as they begin to load up that kite. But I gotta tell you, John, this is a fun board. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here's the rider's tip for you. When you're going for a wave, first wave to first wave wave transfer, it's all about confidence. Drift back in that wave, about to the back end of it, go to mid, at mid, start your trek going across the wave look at your destination, stay out of the hole that's right at the start of that wave. And if you see it, you believe you're gonna be there, carve straight to it, you're gonna be okay. Get ready for a heel side turn coming off the other side. Yeah, that's a good tip. You just uh, look where you wanna go and don't worry about all that chunder. Don't let it intimidate you. Just put that foil through it and there you go. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you real soon. Get out there on the water and have a great time. Bye-bye.